first though. It's only on the fourth day. Are people here? Yep. How many? People are starting to join. So let people do it. You just keep holding it. Please stand by. The sound is working. Oh, okay. So people in here. This is Sloan. Oh, hi. She's our technical <laughs> assistant. We're just wait for Brian to come on. You can change the page. I, I, I didn't think the audio was going to work. Uh, you can change pages, Sloan. This is the Welcome to Reaver's Quarantine Kitchen. We're waiting for Brian to join us. He's going to be our chef on this series that we're hoping goes for a while. We'll see. This is our first one. We'll see how it goes. Now we're just waiting for Brian. Waiting for Brian. Haha, uh -huh, Spicy V says, Sloan! All right. Hurry. Thanks, Mark. I don't know why we're quiet. I think we think the audio, we were expecting the audio not to work. Oh, wait a minute. You can tell this is new. Oh, God. Please. There it is. It's working. All right. As we're waiting for Brian, I will show off my apron. I will not be cooking, despite what the advertisement looks like. It will be Brian cooking. He's going to be showing me a recipe and all of us a recipe. That is one of his favorite vegetarian restaurant uh, recipes and one of my favorite recipes. He cooked for us when we were uh, up at his house writing some songs. So waiting for Brian, waiting. He said he sent a request, but I did not receive a request. Mm. <laughs> Guster saying, Brian saying, this is me from the Guster account and it's not working. He sent a request and we didn't receive it. Oh, I need to do it. Okay, this is my fault. It's my fault, Brian, not yours. Here it comes. Here, all right, this is gonna work soon. Waiting for Brian. Waiting for Brian. Hey! It worked! It's time! Ah! Is this is working? You just eat the cauliflower raw? Yeah, that's it. That's the whole deal. <laughs> I'm, yeah. wait, I'm wearing an apron, and you're not wearing an apron. No, I'm wearing a sweater. Okay. How's it going? All right. You know, as as well as it can. Definitely we cooking a lot. We really mastered technology tonight. <laughs> yeah. So I don't. I'm. Yeah. People are asking if that's cauliflower. Yes, it is cauliflower. We're gonna be cooking. What are we cooking tonight, Brian? Okay, so we're making cauliflower soup and a um, bit of a minimalist, a minimalist recipe. The only ingredients. Come with me. Come with me, Adam. I'm coming with you. The only ingredients are, oh God, how do I make it point in the right direction? Oh, wait. <laughs> you can. I'll uh, put my head next to it. Cauliflower and onion. <laughs> one cauliflower and one onion. Of that's course, it? You're going you're to want olive oil, salt, and pepper too. All right. I, just for safety, Brian, I actually brought up the recipe here on the computer too. You don't think it's going to taste good, but it tastes really good. It's awesome. It is, isn't this the recipe that you made for all of us when we were up there writing? Yeah, I made you guys cauliflower soup once, and now I'm making it for thousands and thousands of people on the internet. <laughs> um, so here's what, here's what you do. You're going to chop an onion, and you're going to stew it in olive oil for 15 minutes without browning it, which is actually hard to do. It requires a lot of self-control and low, low heat. So let's start by chopping an onion. You can get these at grocery stores, bodegas. My onion chopping skills are going to make you all feel like, uh, oh, God, he's going to cut his finger off. Uh, but uh, don't worry. I don't, I don't feel pain in my fingers. <laughs> well, that is awful. Don't do that. <laughs> I never learned how to chop an onion the right way. 
We're eventually going to be playing music again together, I hope. Well, by then it will have healed up fine. <laughs> Fair enough. Can you see me? How do I don't make it so they can see me and the onion. I just got to lean over. You're good. So the recipe is in the uh, bio of, if you're following on, along on Reverb's Instagram, it's, it's in Reverb's bio. Um, it doesn't really matter how you chop the onion because it's all going to get processed up. You can go thick, thin, you can go rings. Oh, I, I almost lost a finger there. Did you see that one? This close. I'm yelling. You are yelling. <laughs> Doing all the things that my Uncle Harris did when I FaceTimed him. He was like way too close to the camera and really loud. I love your Uncle Harris, Adam. I know. I do too. So here's the thing. We're going to take our olive oil. You know it's olive oil because it has an O on it. We're going to get that started here in this copper pan. And we're going to turn the heat really low because 15 minutes. Oh, God. I don't know if you're reading the comments, Brian, but you're getting a lot of uh, concern for your safety. They should be concerned, Adam. They should be really concerned. <laughs> and then someone asked if I was just there to look pretty in my apron. And the answer is yes. That's my role in this. Um, all right, where were we? Chopping onions still, losing fingers. Okay, so you're going to take your onion and you're going to start it in the olive oil. 15 minutes, it really caramelizes. When you only have two ingredients, you got to do exactly how the recipe says. It's not like um, methodology isn't important. It's very important. So this is a recipe from Food 52, is that right? It's Paul, it's Paul Bertoli. He's like the olive oil guy, but he worked at Chez Panisse, which is... Um, that restaurant Waters. in Berkeley, where everything, Alice Waters restaurant, where everything is delicious, but very sparse and minimalist. And um, uh, this is like a total Chez Panisse kind of deal. Hang on, let's take this and put it in the, uh, put this in the pan, right? Onions into a pan. Does it work if I put this here? Can you see me? Can you see the pan? Not really. Okay. <laughs> We know what a pan looks like, Brian. You're good. You know what a pan looks like? You know what that sizzle means? It means I have the heat too hot. 15 minutes is a long time. So we're not going to actually do all 15 minutes. No, that's fine. We can take that. And we can also take some time and just chat or take some questions from anyone who's watching right now. If anyone has any questions or just wants to talk. I, what do you, I'm trying to think. I feel like all of us are pretty into cooking. Like, who would you say is the the, the biggest chef in our band. I feel like we're all pretty equally uh, committed chefs. Uh, Ryan um, had like his moment where he was like getting all these fancy recipes. He did like the thing where you ordered the ingredients with a blue apron kind of deal. Oh, yeah. yeah. That doesn't make <laughs> him a better cook than us. Just makes him lazy. <laughs> I'm, I'm into your style of cooking where it's like simple. I get very stressed in the kitchen, I, especially if it's a new recipe. I'm never sure what to do. It feels, uh, I, don't know, I always, I'm afraid of failure. The time pressure is not a thing that I like to do. That looks great already, Brian. Slow and low. Since it's 15 minutes, I was thinking that maybe, um, maybe we should take out the compost. <laughs> okay. So That's when you- my compost bin. When you made um, when you made this for us, we were writing up there. Is the compost been anywhere near the the shed that we wrote our music? Oh in? wow! So this shed was where we wrote a few songs from Look Alive. We wrote Not for Nothing there. At least we got a start on it. Uh, and then the song that became When You Go Quiet was written there. These are obscure songs that people don't know. Oh gosh! Now I'm outside in the air. It feels so weird to be outside. Look, there's a forsythia. It's in bloom. If I take this compost all the way to the compost bin, will, um, will I lose internet and then will I go away? Uh, it's possible. 
Let's see what happens. <laughs> Living life on the edge. This is where we wrote some songs and where I made cauliflower soup and where I'm lucky to be in isolation with my family. Not a day goes by where I don't feel uh, very <clears throat> a lot of gratitude for this place and my situation. Um, I don't want to get too heavy, but um, uh, I feel profoundly sad often for the world. Um, hey, look, it's a compost bin. <laughs> <laughs> nice segue. Yeah. A nice segue. <laughs> then you just slop on. Uh, 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 uh. And that's it. That's yeah. gross. <laughs> Smells bad. So those slats, do th those don't keep out the little guys. They just let like the mice and stuff. Do they love that compost? Uh, what you couldn't see on this uh, grainy footage is that there's some thin chicken wire in between the slats. Oh, okay. That's that's my work right there, Adam. Nice That's work. That's the inside of the compost bucket right there. Awesome. How do you think those onions are doing? I don't know. You better get to it. You don't want to burn them. You want is the idea to just get them. What's it, like if, if this is actually I'm a good case study for this because I am not. I would say I'm the least chef like in our band, and I don't I don't trust my instincts. What's the goal? Like, are those onions? Are you going for just like translucent? Like, what are you going for there? Yeah, you could even use the word caramelize. Uh, they kind of, they really juice when you go slow and low. You do not want them to brown. Uh, these are going great. Um, if you commit to the full 15 minutes, you will bring out all the flavor of the onions. And that's the only thing that flavors the soup other than your salt and pepper. Uh, so you got to take this seriously. However, we're going to move over to the cauliflower and make some florets. What do you say? All right, so for those who are following along the recipe, we're what, step two here? Pretty much, this is step two. It's like, you can memorize this. It's such a simple recipe. Oh God, oh God. This goes in the compost bin. You don't eat this. You put it in the compost bin. Pretty much you just want to break your cauliflower into florets and you don't have to be pretty about it because it's turning into soup. This is the easiest recipe. You guys make cauliflower at home sometimes, Adam? I do all the time. So I've been into like the breakfast, the breakfast vegetables and I was, oh. doing, I was doing sauteed kale way too much. And then I started uh, getting the cauliflower. It's so good. It's the I just best. Do cauliflower with um, just like a cumin and some spices and some raisins so it's almost like a an indian sauteed cauliflower and it's, couldn't be easier yeah that sounds delicious we do it a couple nights a week just roasted in the oven with olive oil and salt and my kids eat it up like like it's um a delicacy which it is it's a great vegetable i know some people were insulting it in the comments on instagram <laughs> There's a there's a question that somebody asked about when the last time we got our haircuts were, and I know I'm not, when I cut our hair. <laughs> Adam, you look kind of like new wave, more new wave than usual. Yeah, it's a little long up here. It's time for I so I cut my hair with the Floby, and I'm thinking that might be a video at some point later, because I I've, I've actually been because people know I use the Floby, I've been getting a lot of emails and texts from people saying I bought a Floby online to cut my own hair, and I do recommend it. Uh, but you use, a, you just freestyle it with scissors, aren't you? I just go straight up kitchen knife, my friend. Oh. Or the recipe too, just go right into the hair, right into the cauliflower soup. <laughs> I just saw that we have 148 people watching this, this. Yeah. This okay, is so we've broken up the cauliflower into these florets, they're beautiful. And now we're gonna pretend 15 minutes has gone by. We're gonna go over here and faucet and get about a half a cup of water. Is that a faucet? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> so here we go. We're gonna pretend that the onions have been cooking for uh, the right amount of time. I wish I could prop this up where you could see the pot. Damn it. There we go. Pour the water in. Put all the cauliflower in and turn up the heat. And then we're going to put a lid on it. You got to put a lid on it now. We're going to do about 15 minutes 
of steaming the onions into the cauliflower. I'm going to leave this right here and run and get the cauliflower. All right. People are asking about the recipe. So if you're watching from Reverb's uh, Instagram Live, it's in our bio. Uh, and no, I'm not cooking anything right now. I may cook something another time. This is going to be a series on Reverb's Instagram Live that we're calling the Quarantine Kitchen, for those who are asking. Right now, this is all about Brian's cauliflower soup, which I actually asked him for. It was by request because I, I loved it when he made it for me. Yes, I'm wearing an apron. I have some sort of sunlight problem here in the lighting. It's like, ah, there he is. <laughs> so remember, put the lid on after this step. And you're going to let that go about 15, 20 minutes uh, of steaming the cauliflower and the onions together with a little water. Um, and then we're going to be in good shape to hit the, the last step. This is so easy. Um, what should we do now, Adam? I don't know. We can talk. Let people ask questions. Uh, that's boring. Funny. If I just show the pot lid, that's just boring for 15 minutes. I agree. So one of the things that I've been doing, I don't know what you've been doing to like try to stay connected to your friends and another family <laughs> friend. We've been, we've been trying to play video chat games. And uh, I know uh, one of my favorites is it's called uh, Blank Slate. It's right here. I don't know if that's showing backwards or not. I don't know how that works. I, feel but, like uh, I can I can extrapolate. But you know how Luke, the new guy as of 10 years ago, the new guy in the band is always talking about how, like, you guys speak your own language. You have some sort of mind meld. I don't always understand you. I want to put that a little bit to the test with this game to see if we actually do have the same brain. I don't think we do, but let's see what happens. You, so all you need is a pen and paper. Oh, well, look at this. <laughs> I have a pie and a pen and a paper. I actually, I want you guys to know I clean the house I, for hours for this. This is not how I live. I don't live in a clean house. That looks great. You, that pie looks amazing, too. You didn't make that, did you? My daughter made it. She's 12. No way. Did she really? Jojo, -Jo, did you make a pie? She's watching a movie. She can't even hear me. All right. Fair enough. That's how we do it, too. All right. So here's how the game works. So I'll, I'll show you a, a, word, a card that has basically, so it's home blank. And then I need to, we both fill out what the second word would be. Don't show it to me. And then when we say go, we'll see if we say the same thing. It's kind of like the newlywed game, I think. I'm having so much fun with you, Adam. <laughs> this, is, this is almost as much fun as we were having when we were actually on tour. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. One, two, three. Home Oh, you wrote home run. I wrote homeschooling. All right. I like, your, I like yours way better. <laughs> Let's try yes. one. Let's try a few more. Can I use the same paper? Is, would that Please. be good to use the same paper on the other side, Adam? I no. <laughs> I know what you're doing. You're making fun of my reverb. Uh, root blank. That's the easy one. We'll see. I'd love to figure out how to do this with 174 people who are watching right now. Oh, are you ready? No, because I went with my second, my second answer so that we didn't actually get it correct. <laughs> ready? Go. Oh, vegetable. <laughs> root vegetables, Adam, root vegetables. Oh, root vegetables, I'm on the next card. I said, you're right, sorry, you got it, root vegetables. Someone else said, Oh, they're saying homecoming. That was from the last card. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can do this one. Hang on. Did you see it? No, I didn't see it yet because I was ripping a piece of paper off for myself. So it's not to use too much paper. Okay, go ahead. Ever blank. I got this one. I think we're going to mind meld on this one. I'm ready if you're ready. Go. Uh oh, he froze. <laughs> there you are. I hit the wrong button. You're wet. Yay. We got that one. It's a All good right. album. It's a good album. Shut it. Whoever said that? I'm just kidding. No one said anything. <laughs> uh oh. This is, I think, that, I think this game actually knows. Maybe, I wonder if, huh, ready? Try this one. I think we're going to get this one too. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think somebody set us up, Adam. <laughs> uh, nope. It came up that way. I'm going to throw it. I threw it. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, these are hard times. Yeah, they are. I think, Adam, things come around in hard times. True story. So let's go check on the cauliflower. Let's do it. I like that. I like that game a lot. Yeah, it's a, that's a, it's a fun one to play. So when you play with a lot of people, it's a lot more fun because the way, the way you play it is if you have only one other match, you get three points. If you have lots of people matching, you only get one. So you want to have like something slightly more obscure, but not so obscure that nobody gets it. Right. And I also noticed that our viewer count went up to 184 when we were playing that game. But when I was just like cooking cauliflower, it was hovering around 150. <laughs> So next time we'll just do hard, hard, uh, what is this called? Blank slate. Um, so now let's pretend 15 to 20 minutes have gone by and we've been um, uh, cooking cauliflower in the harsh sunlight. Um, you're gonna want four and a half cups of hot water now. Now you might think, well, what if it's not hot water? Is that really gonna mess up my cauliflower soup? But when there's only two ingredients in soup, you don't wanna play around. I'm waiting for the water to get hot. All right. While you're doing that, I'm going to plug something then. Uh, you know, we're, we're doing this because it's a, we're in strange times right now. And uh, since this is a food-related piece we're doing, we thought it would be nice to just let people know about this great organization that's helping feed the hungry right now. And they actually have always done it. Reverb has partnered with Why Hunger a bunch. Uh, but they have a specific uh, cause right now with COVID-19. And you can donate right here at whyhunger.org slash rapid response. And they're supporting farmers. They're supporting people who are most um, vulnerable right now. So if you, if you can, please uh, donate there. I was getting four and a half cups of hot water. What were you doing, Adam? I was letting people know about this cool organization called Why Hunger. And uh, if they wanted to help feed people who are really vulnerable, especially right now during this pandemic, they can go to this link right here. I think this is a great thing you're doing. And I also think that the quarantine kitchen is, um, is a great idea and it's going to get better. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, thanks for being the test subject. I, I think this, this is on brand, I think, for uh, Guster here. This is we're, not, we're, we're gonna pretend that this uh, cauliflower here has been steaming with the onions for 15, 20 minutes, even though we know it hasn't. And now the last step, well, not the last step, the third step, we're going to add our water, about four and a half cups. And we're going to let that go uncovered, uncovered for 20 minutes. We're going to bring it to a, a boil, simmer kind of deal. And then 20 minutes, but no one wants to watch me boil cauliflower for 20 minutes. Or do you? <laughs> did you did you see the Saturday Night Live uh, from home show? Did you watch that yet? No, I, I have not. I, I've just been watching Tiger King. I, I have been too. We can talk all about that. But what, what I loved about the Saturday Night Live skit, there was one like little segment where it's like a guy just pretending to be a sportscaster that had nothing to report on. So he was just doing stuff from home. And he had four kernels of popcorn in a pan and oil. And it's just, you're just sitting there waiting. He goes, is it going to be the upper left corner one? Is it going to be the upper right corner which one? And he's like, which one's going to pop first? And I could have watched that for hours. That's so, so awesome. Yeah. That's the, I'm actually going to look that up because that made me laugh out loud just in a description. Yeah, it's great. Uh, so um, I'm going to fast forward like they do in cooking shows. I want you all to know I care so much about my cooking episodes that I prepared a, a batch in advance. Um, and there it is. It just looks like wet, mushy cauliflower, but this one actually cooked the whole way. So now we get the uh, opportunity to go visit over here where I can have the um, final step and the hearty, delicious tasting spoonful. Oh, that's where, that's where we're at. We're at the end already. You said a half an hour, Adam. You said it's 625 already. We're at 186 followers here. We should keep going. <laughs> Although I know your kids' movie's running out soon.
<laughs> exactly. Bugs Life is only 132, Adam. <laughs> uh, so uh, at this point, um, you, they say to blend it in batches. Um, you can use a Vitamix, which um, uh, would work, or, a, or even you could use uh, a hand blender, which I will. But what you cannot use is an amazing Guster stand mixer from KitchenAid. Yeah, I've got one of those at home too. I didn't know we got. I thought I didn't know they were. I have the exact same one. I think they made four of them. I mean, it's it's amazing. The artwork from Easy Wonderful, John Sarkin's amazing artwork on a stand mixer. It's kind of amazing, right? I, Why we, do I have I, this? Why do I got, have this? Uh, it's amazing. When we got them, we were, I was maybe a little too young or too early in my cooking career to appreciate it. Now I use it all the time. Yeah, it's pretty much my greatest possession, and there's only four in the world. <laughs> Uh, but instead, you know, I'm sure there's like a methodology to these, um, these hand blender things, you know, immerse, immersion blenders. Yeah. Um, my method is to put it in the hot food and then as it splashes into my face, you just yell and yell <laughs> until it's over. <laughs> That's That's my right. thing. Are you ready? Yeah. Be careful again. <laughs> ah, my God! <laughs> Just kidding. I'm fine. I'm still at 184 viewers. You're doing well. You're doing it. But we're not losing anybody because they want to see me take a spoonful and eat this. Oh, So Brian, are you go? I don't know if you can hear me over the noise. But is there a question? Like, is this supposed to look like soup at this point, or you, what? You, what is the goal of this part of it? I actually think that the cauliflower soup is not supposed to be so hearty and chunky. So you're going to take like uh, another half cup of water and thin it out, and you're supposed to actually let it stand for 20 minutes after this step, so it uh, uh, gets to the right consistency. But we'll just skip that because of a bug's life. <laughs> Can you hear me over this or YouTube? I don't want to, I didn't know if I should talk. I don't want to make you stop doing what you're doing. To, to oh, talk. the sound of the immersion blender is critical to the experience. You weren't talking over it, were you? <laughs> Are you guys watching movies together? Okay, that's it. enough of that. Yeah. Uh, hang on. So we're going to thin it with a little hot water. Oh, there's other it's people where we like it. saying, maybe add milk instead of water. What do you think about that? No, you do not add anything. No butter, no bacon, no sour cream, no milk, nothing. Cauliflower, onions, olive oil, salt, pepper. That is it. <laughs> All right, you ready? The point where uh -oh. we... Um, Somebody said veggie broth, heavy cream. No, none of that, right? None of it. Two ingredients. Okay, here we go. I, it's so hard to know where to point this thing. You're doing great. All right, so you take this, you fill your bowl with it. It's cauliflower soup, it's delicious. They would serve this in, in Berkeley, California at Chez Panisse and people would pay $11, $12 for this bowl. But now here comes the critical point. You gotta season it or else it's gonna taste bland. You gotta season it. So you get your salt, whatever your salt. I actually like the diamond crystal kosher myself. Even though I have pink Himalayan right here, I'm gonna go with the diamond crystal and I'm gonna give it a good thing. You can even crack fresh salt in there. And then you're gonna do the, uh, you're gonna do oh. this giant pepper shaker thing. Gotta How much do salt? It. We didn't get to your hand there, Brian. How much salt did you just add? Like uh, I add so much salt. It's really critical. Um, and then you're going to finish it. 
got to finish it with a drizzle of olive oil. All right. Can't Here see. we are, guys. We made color. We did it together. Nice job, Brian. Point to the soup. We just see your chin. <laughs> there it is. Nice. That was great. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. You like my cauliflower soup? It looks great. <laughs> awesome, Brian. That's great. So if you just tuned in, uh, you can, this will stay, this will stay on Instagram live on reverbs or it'll stay on Instagram's reverb for a while. And again, if you want to give to a good cause related to food. Oh yeah, this is backwards. That's not helpful. Why hunger? dot org slash rapid response there's also another really cool program if you're in new york or la uh, called support and feed again it's backwards on this thing apparently i don't know is that is that backwards by to you it's it's correct to me oh wait yeah. no it's backwards all right maybe that's correct there you go now it's good so support and feed if you're in new york or la is another great program actually started by billy eilish's mom and uh they're basically supporting both vegetarian based restaurants um and people who are hungry. So you can make a donation directly to the vegetation, vegetarian restaurant and they'll deliver food to, uh, to folks that need it. And again, whyhunger.org rapid response backslash rapid or slash rapid response. Thank you, Brian. Keep eating that, keep eating that soup. Thank you. I really, I'm gonna make that recipe. I can't wait to do it. I mostly did this for selfish reasons because I love that soup when you made it for us. It's so good. That's awesome. All right. We'll stay safe, stay healthy. And Bye, everybody. Everybody.